With the level cap, the second DLC, Love Guns and Tentacles, and Mayhem 2.0 all on Borderlands 3's Horizon, I also wonder if we may finally be getting those fourth skill trees for our Vault Hunters. Before that happens, I thought it would be interesting to give my opinion on the best skills from our current skill trees. Now before we start this list, I want you guys to keep some things in mind. This list is only my opinion, meaning it could be changed, and this is only for entertainment purposes. Second, when it comes to choosing the skills, I'm kind of thinking about the skills at the best possible with all the gear and, you know, the best setup. Um, and I'm also thinking about the skill just on its own, though. So I'm not just looking for the craziest things you can do, but I'm also looking at this kind of practically. Finally, there are only five different skills through four Vault Hunter skill trees that I can pick. They all do wildly different things. It's kind of hard to measure them against each other. At the end of the day, I had to pick five skills out of all of them. So with that, let's get into the video. So starting off today's list and coming in at number five is going to go to two action skill cooldown skills. Flax Headcount and Moe's Grizzled. Both these skills are getting featured at number 5 because these are the best action skill cooldown skills for these characters. Now, this takes a little bit of knowledge about how action skill cooldown works, but the basic idea is that cooldown reduction does not stack well with itself. But shaving off literal seconds off your action skill does, which is what both of these skills do. And that's why these skills are mu so much better at it. Every time you trigger these, you'll be getting your action skills back over and over and over again. So moving on and coming in at number four, I gotta give it to personal space from Amara. This skill adds upwards of 50% overall damage to your enemies. The skill description is not uh, completely accurate. Um, another thing to think about is when I say overall damage, I mean it's in its own damage section called V1. Basically, this means it is not additive to weapon damage. And this skill offers bang for your buck. This skill is exactly what I was talking about when I said it's an amazing skill all on its own um, at an early level, and it pretty much scales perfectly when you add a lot more skills and gear with it. This is also a tier 1 skill at the start of Amara's skill trees, meaning you can probably include this no matter what build you're playing, and you should if you could. Um, don't forget what I said earlier about this skill. Uh, definitely works a lot better than what it seems like on the card. Even at a decent range away from enemies, you get a much larger percentage bonus than you would think most of the time. Um, and yeah, this is a great overall skill that just adds a ton of damage in late game builds. And it's exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. And that's pretty much all I can say about personal space. So let's go ahead and move on down to number three. Now coming in at number three is going to have to be short fuse for Moe's. I was kind of debating between short fuse, some for the road, and actually forceful expression for the spot on the list. But I had to go with short fuse. This capstone from Moe's uh, demolition woman tree can add decent chunks of damage all on its own. It gets damage bonuses from Stainless Steel Bear and Scorching RPMs. It can actually also double dip splash bonuses, V1 and V2. Um, so basically, you can get some pretty good damage out of this skill. Uh, so yeah. Now the reason why I actually chose Short Fuse for this slot is actually because of what it really does for Moe's once everything is put together. Once you add her other skills like MOD, it just feeds perfectly into the entire Demolition Woman strategy. Um, I actually can't wait for the level cap to use this skill with our other capstones because I think it's actually going to add the most to those other builds. So the potential this skill has leaves this perfectly in the number three slot in my opinion. Now moving on to number two, I do have to say real quick, number two and number one are kind of interchangeable depending on your opinion. Some people are going to completely disagree with this being number two and not number one, but I have no regrets. So moving on and coming in at number two, we have Flak's best capstone, Megavore. There's a reason why every single Flak build uses this capstone. Megavore gives you the chance to auto crit with your weapons. I don't really have to explain why that's so powerful, except that there's all the enemies that don't have crit spots. There's all the enemies with hard to hit crit spots. But best of all, you can just body shot an enemy with a high pellet Jacob's shotgun because you feel like it and trigger loads of other skills in the same skill trees for ridiculous bonuses. Leave No Trace is probably the biggest one, which was honestly a contender for just being on this list in general. And of course, triggering headcount, which is literally on the list um, at the number five spot. So there's some pretty good other reasons to use this skill. There's also any crit bonuses you have in gear or skill trees will boost your damage, um, which is obvious. But the other insane thing is probably all the random things in this game that Megavore can also crit with. 
chains from a brainstormer, electric banjo. You can actually crit with bonus elements and hunter seekers. There's some pretty cool thing this skill does and some insanely powerful interactions all on its own or geared up. And with that being said, you better realize how powerful the number one skill really is. But before we reveal that, a word from our sponsors. Yo, what's going on, guys? I actually do have a sponsor for today, and it is Thick Fillet's Twitch channel. He will be live streaming today as this video is posting. Yesterday, we were going for 30 second Wotan kills and chilling. But if you miss this video when I post it, then I will be live streaming again, so dropping a follow would be amazing. Thank you guys so much. Alrighty, so with that being said, we do have to make some honorable mentions before we get to number one. There is a common trend um, in my list so far with damage, and I think there's some insanely powerful skills that aren't necessarily for damage, and they deserve being mentioned. So first, we have the lifesteal skills, Zane's Salvation, and Amara's Sustainment. Next, I want to give a shout out to Zane's Calm, Cool, and Collected, and Amara's Avatar. Next, we have Amara's Forceful Expression and Moe's Some for the Road. And finally, the end of the honorable mentions, we have Amara's Remnant and actually Flax Power Inside Capstone. All of these skills are pretty great. A lot of them had decent chances for being mentioned on this list. Um, like I said, the only issue is I actually just had to pick five skills, so that's why they couldn't be included. Finally, what you've all been waiting for, moving on to number one. I bet some of you saw this coming, but I am picking Zane's Violent Momentum. This is a tier one skill in his skill trees, meaning any build will be able to spec into this. I have tested this skill with no speed bonuses, just sliding and shooting. I've gotten nearly 100% weapon damage bonuses from just doing that. And when you add those movement speed skills, it goes way up from there. This is easily one of the best options for early game Zane to get kills quicker, but at end game, people have used this to get over 500% weapon damage. In my opinion, this is the most insane bang for your buck in a skill I have ever seen. It is pretty much versatile in most situations. It can be used with a lot of weapons to their fullest potential. If you don't believe me, I'm going to link Garwood's one-shot Grave Ward um, with a King's Call video. Or, like I said, we are actually attempting 30 second Wotan kills over on Twitch. These are insanely fast boss killing times, and it's because of this skill, Violent Momentum. Now, I probably am obviously biased. Um, you all know I love Zane, and that's my main character in Borderlands 3. But at the end of the day, none of you can deny how powerful this skill really is. Anyways, guys, that's my list for top 5 skills in the entire game. Of course, I couldn't pick all of them, so realistically, some of you are going to disagree. But that's my opinion and thoughts about these skills, so comment down below what you think about that. If you like the video, dropping a like on it really helps me out, and subscribing to the channel to see more content like this, um, I would really appreciate that. I do want all of you to know I did just move, and hopefully the last part to the PC I'm building will be here soon. Um, and it's all because of this community support that I can do this. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to literally anybody who watches this video. The content is going to get better and better once I get into a good groove of things. Um, so thank you guys for being here. Thank you for the support. But I'll see you all in the next one. I'm out.